Hey there, what's up? Welcome back to our channel and this is the ninth video of our exciting series build your own virtual assistant and today in this video we're going to make our virtual assistant to send email automatically. Sounds interesting right? So without any further delay let's jump right into it. Okay, so now this is the code that we have done previously. We have integrated GPT-4 and now we are going to make it to send email with the help of that GPT-4. First, let us understand the concept. We are going to ask for the receiver name and we are going to ask for the subject and the content. In the content, we are going to ask a prompt like write a letter for my friend wishing wishing him happy birthday like that and whenever he gets the prompt then we're going to send it towards a gpt4 for further process to compose in professional email we're going to use gpt4 and then we're going to take that message that gpt4 replied we're going to take that response from gpt4 and send it to the email address and that's how our email sending bot will work so first of all i would like you all to watch this video which i have created three months ago where i have shown and explained you how you can create a basic email sender in python so what you need to do is just go and watch this video till the end and copy all this stuff that I have told. Watch the video carefully uh, to make an email sender in Python. Okay. So after that, after creating an email sender, you need to create a functions in your uh, directory where your AI is located. And in the function, you just need to paste the file. Now I have email sender.py, which is the exact same function like this. I want you all to check this video and copy the code from that video and understand something what we are doing. So in the email sender, I have modified this by creating a function. Okay, the code is same as like this, but what I have done is insert all this thing inside a function send email which is going to take three argument to whom subject and content so that it will be easier for us to call it from the main.py file okay so it's like this just make your code this code like this or you can copy it take a screenshot and copy or make it like this but you need to understand what it is doing okay and after that let me go on main file okay here we need to create a new elif statement so let us create a new elif statement where uh, write which is going to if the user say write an email email inquiry or compose an email inquiry or send an email inquiry then first of all i want the user like i want the receiver name to whom my bot should send the email to do that let me create a speak function okay so here listen we are not going to use take command for the user email address cause like suppose i have an important email that i want to share to a specific person and whenever i use take command then sometimes it hears properly and sometimes not like what if it hears wrong and send that important letter to another person then it's going to create a problem so that uh, we're going to ask the email from the user in the input so uh, tell me not uh, provide provide me the name of the user to even send email here we will create a variable and once we have that email address now the next thing is subject 
so let me create a subject variable which is going to take command take command and then here let me make it this pick and it's going to take command and then let me make it this pick and here we're going to like email prompt equals take command take command and after that um, uh, what we're going to do is create a variable called content content equals gpt so first we need to import that from gpt for free import gpt and then from functions functions dot email sender import in a send email function in here in the bottom in the gpt we're going to pass email prompt now we'll call this send email function to whom will be receiver and then subject will be subject and then the content will be content and once it is done let me make it a speak done sir a full stop so that it will take a break email send successfully to let me write write it in f string okay so now it should work and let me run it but let me comment it out so that it will run more faster because i don't need this bot scrapper to work control slash speak okay so now let's test it out i think it should work properly Hello, Hello, sir. sir. I, am I am Jarvis, Jarvis and how, how can, can I help, I help you, you today? today? Send an email. Sure, sure sir. Can, can you, you provide, provide me the name of the user to, to whom you want to send an email below? What, what should, should be the subject, subject of the email? email? Happy birthday to you. What, what should, should be, be the, the content? content? Just, Just provide, provide me some prompt. prompt. Email for a friend named John, wishing him happy birthday from Amrit. And it's going to write the email. So. Done, sir. Email, Email sent successfully, successfully to subdiamond 450 at gmail.com. So let me check if it actually sent the email or not. Then you can see we have got an email by writing happy birthday to you as a subject. And then there you have it. You got a full email sender using Python. Like you can provide more prompt like from Omrit, like from any name you want then it's going to completely fill up okay so you just need to give a better prompt to get better results so yeah that much for today's video and i'll catch you in the next video till then take care bye bye